Yo, my hair is looking pretty thrashed, but it's all good. Today I'm gonna give myself a high top fade. I'm not sure if it's gonna fix the way my dreads are looking. By the way, I did a bunch of like updates and kind of whole bunch of stuff in the recent videos that I just posted. So you can go check that video out, but uh, my hair is, it's not even focus on my actual dreads right now. I could tell you one thing, a lot of them are actually locking up, so that's good. Quick 360 before I pull these up because they are looking thrashed. Update, things on the back are actually locking up a whole lot better, like this one right here. Oh no, look, that one's locking up really fast. The right side's looking good. I would say it looks better than the, the left. All of you know, 100%, all of you know, that one side of your dreads looks better than the other side. Let's face it, that's just kind of how it goes. For me, when I had my first set of dreads, I feel like the left side of my head looked way better. No, no, it was the right side. I think it's your more dominant hand side because that's usually the one that you'll be twisting up with. Like usually you have dreadlocks in your hand, like twisting them all the time. And usually I feel like it is your most dominant hand. But you guys, in today's video, I am doing a high top fade on myself. I gave myself a taper fade the other day just to test out these new clippers that I got. And I'm actually super stoked on these clippers. But I'm just gonna pull my hair up really quick and then we'll get straight into this. What I like to do before I do a haircut is I like to always push all of my hair that is not supposed to get cut up so that I don't end up snipping it and pushing up that line because that's one thing that I don't want to do is ever push back that line. And before this haircut, I did not wash my hair. I didn't wash my dreads, so my hair is actually kind of flaky. A lot of people do say, yo, why is your hair so flaky? And the reason is, is because I typically wash my hair after I'd give myself a haircut. I would understand if I went to a barber or went to Diddy to get a haircut, um, I would definitely wash my hair before because I don't want my hair flaking in their clippers. But these are my personal clippers. These are the clippers that I wash myself and clean myself. So when it comes to my hair actually flaking, the only reason my hair flakes is because my scalp is either dry or I haven't washed it completely yet. So it's not any other thing besides my scalp being dry and my scalp flaking. And that is 100% completely normal. If people call you out on your scalp being flaky, it's completely normal. Everyone's scalp is different. So if my hair ends up flaking today, that's 100% why. But yeah, I'm just focusing on the haircut today. I'm gonna show you guys everything that I'm gonna be using in this video really quick. I have everything literally right down here and I'm really stoked on these new clippers that I just got from Sally Beauty. They're actually sponsoring some Instagram stuff that I'm doing and these clippers are actually really awesome. So, and first off, I just wanna say like, yo, I'm working with Sally Beauty. It's crazy how only I think four years ago, I started this YouTube channel and now I'm working with Sally Beauty, which is known I would say nationwide, I'm not sure about worldwide, but nationwide known. So that's really cool. And they actually sent me out some clippers and some other hair products. And this is big things for me because this is like something that I've been working towards for a really long time. And to actually be working with someone that I used to go to their store all the time to get products, that they're sending me stuff out to actually do work with them. And I'm looking forward to all these other things that I got going on in the future. So I'm gonna show you guys really quickly what I'm working with in today's video as far as the clippers and everything else I'm using. So it's right down here. Start off with the Cool Care Plus. This is what I use to clean my clippers and cool off my clippers when in between cuts. So this is to clean the clipper blade and also it disinfects and it lubricates the blade so that it does um, cut better. And it also does have something in here that prevents your clippers from rusting. I'm also gonna be using my Andis Pro Foils. This is to bald out. And just to let you guys know, everything that I'm mentioning is gonna be linked down below. So I'm using my Andes Pro Foils. This is the only Andis product I'm using. Well, these two are the only Andis products. I typically do use all Andis products when it comes to cutting my hair, but I'll explain more about the clippers here in a minute. I'm also going to be using these um, guards that are from the clippers that I'm using. Besides this one, this is my Zero Guard. And this is just from Sally Beauty as well, actually. I'm using a rat tail comb. This is just to comb my hair through when it's, when it's bulky. And then when it gets shorter, I like to use um, this little Diane brush. Works really well. I think this is a Diane as well. No, it's actually not. This is a hard bristle brush. And I use it when my hair is longer to brush down the bulk while I'm cutting the hair. This is actually my step-by-step -step list on how I actually cut my hair and cut other people's hair. I always keep that up because I would still consider myself a beginner even though I've cut multiple times. I would say close to 50 times, um, but those are super important to me. And this is the mother load right here. These are the Ion 
Max uh, clippers. These are five speed clippers and these are two speed trimmers. And what I mean by two speed, it has one speed right there. And if I click one more time, it goes into a two speed. So that's the second speed right there. I always keep it on the second speed because I feel like the quicker it goes, the, the better it cuts. One thing I like about the clippers that they sent me out is that they have a ceramic blade. I don't know what this part's called, I forget, but like the gold blade as well. Um, but the ceramic blade with the gold, I would say like the comb. I don't know what you call that. You guys can comment down below what that is, but that's the... I've seen clippers that have the gold piece on there as well with the ceramic blade, so these have that as well, which is really cool. If you see on top, it says it has a forced air cooling system. I have never felt these get hot and I've done a full haircut. They do not get hot. They get a little warm, but they do not get hot enough to burn your hand, which is really crazy considering that these are cordless, both of them are cordless, and they don't get super hot, which is amazing. And these are super comfortable in the hand, except they fit right in. And they're not too small, that's what I like about these. And they're not too big. The way you use the lever is you just press this button, and it opens up the lever. You can see the blade opening, and you can close the blade, but it's literally just clicks. And I prefer the clicks over just a free lever, um, just because you can actually click it into place, which is perfect. And it shows you, if you look close, you can see the numbers in there. 1.6 millimeter, 1.3. So that's closed. This is completely open. And to turn it on, all you do is press this button. And I add it. Right now it's at high speed. If you click this button, it'll bring it all the way down. So that's the first speed, second speed, third speed, fourth speed, and fifth speed. Really awesome. Turn it off, you just press the button, it turns off. I really, really, really enjoy these clippers. Let's go ahead and start off this fade, right? I'm gonna go ahead and brush everything down and we'll jump straight into it. I'm gonna take my glasses off. A lot of you are probably like looking at my glasses if you haven't seen the explanation behind the glasses. Uh, it's on three videos back, I believe, with the video of me crochet hooking my hair or giving myself instant dreadlocks or showing you guys how to instantly lock up dreads. Um, I explained these in that video, so you can go check it out. And I actually explained that at the beginning of that video so you don't have to wait the entire video to see it. I still have been growing out my beard. If you guys did watch the 100 push-ups a day challenge, I am still growing out my beard. I'm gonna grow it until the end of August and then I'm gonna clean shave it, everything off. But I'm trying to see what, what happens. But let's go ahead and start off with brushing everything down. I always hold my hair on top while I brush everything down. Okay, now that I've brushed everything down, this is what it's looking like. The back is the toughest to brush down. A lot of this hair back there used to be up into the long hair, but I actually trimmed all that down on one of the last haircuts I did when I did the tapered hairline. That's actually one of my favorite videos is giving myself a tapered hairline, which was awesome. Quick heads up, I wanna show you guys that this is the part of my hairline that is very thin, but I try to work with it as best as I can. You'll see that when I start doing the lineup process. But I'm gonna go ahead and start out by grabbing the cordless clipper. The guards for these clippers are actually really cool. They're reversible, so it has a one guard and I believe a one and a half guard on here. So I'm gonna clip it onto the one guard and then I'm gonna do one guard closed down on everything. Another thing I like about these clippers is that they're really quiet. They're super quiet compared to any other clippers, especially being cordless. Cordless clippers are so handy. Now I'll go back through and brush everything down. Okay, this is the important part. We have to go through and create the bald line with the trimmer. And this does have a T blade on it, just like a lot of Andy's trimmers. I like to create the line right under where, where this little C cup. So I create it like right here and I'll go straight across. Once I get halfway, I start on the other side. Okay, it looks good. The best way I can explain this line is to have it form the way your hair breaks off up here. Where your hair disconnects off into long hair, you want this line to match that line all the way around. Either that or you want to match the shape of your head. So 
however the shape of your head is, match it. But that's one of the easiest steps right there, is you wanna create that guideline. After that, all you do is come in and then take out everything under it. For this video, I'm gonna do one side at a time. So I'll leave that side like that, and then I'll fade this side. So now I'm gonna go in with Andy's profiles, and I'm gonna bald out this bottom line. Now I'm gonna go lever open, and go up an inch on this side. I like to kind of flick out at the top even when I'm doing this first guideline. Okay, so this is what the first guideline is looking like. Now I'm putting on the one guard, still doing lever open. I just always double check and make sure that my guard is on there so it doesn't fall off. So I give it a little shake and it looks like it's on. So let's go in and create this second guideline. That was like the last step so that we can go into blending everything now. What I like to do before I go into the blends, I like to bring down the lever halfway. So I'll do two steps and then I'll go midway up what I just created. And then I'll go ahead and step it down all the way. I'm just gonna brush all that down as well. So you can see the blend starting to come in, but there is a bunch of lines, and that's when we come in, take all of them out. Now I'm gonna throw on the zero guard, and this is to take out the middle line. So now I'm gonna focus on taking out this line right here, this little faint line. I'm doing zero guard, lever closed. And you wanna do a flick out motion on this. I have no clue why I'm showing you guys the hard side, which is the left side. Look at that blend. Still got a lot of hair. Dang, yep. The zero guard is what really reveals the whole cut. From personal experience of cutting my own hair, this is always the hardest area to blend out. Just because the hair is so thick, you'd think it'd be easier, but um, it just takes a little more attention. All right, I'm just gonna leave it like that for now. Then I'm gonna throw on a two guard. So I'm throwing on the reverse side of the one guard, which is the two guard, which is very convenient. And I'm gonna pop the lever open just to be safe. And then I'm just gonna take out all this extra bulk at the top to even everything out. Once you go through once, you wanna brush down everything. I'm using my hard bristle brush um, just to push everything down where it needs to be. And you can see that the blend is coming together really nice. You just want to make sure to get rid of all that bulk because that really just creates like a huge line on the top. It's looking really good. Not gonna lie, I feel like these clippers help me blend everything a whole lot easier. So yeah guys, what do you think? Tell me what you think as far as the fade. I'm gonna go ahead and do the full lineup on camera and then I'll do the rest of the head off camera and then I'll show you guys the full cut. But one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hold all this hair back, brush this down, and I'll show you how I do my lineup with a tapered hairline. First things first, I like to lift up and see where my actual hairline is. So I could brush all this back, honestly. So you can see that my hairline is literally just right there. But as far as the sides, the hairline does go a little, bar, uh, little more back. But we do want to make this as straight as possible. And what I always like to do, especially on this corner, is just fill it in with fibers. You can use stuff like Topic or Juvacur or... Focus, they all have really good fibers. So in order to do the lineup, I use the trimmers and I always start from the middle. Never go based off the first lineup 
and just run with it. Like always do a first lineup, brush everything down because hair will bounce up. This just gives it a better lineup. One thing to note is that the hairline is obviously gonna look a little better after doing a shower and rinsing your hair because all these hairs will lay down flatter. So it's gonna look a whole lot better and I'll actually give myself another lineup after the shower. But yeah, this is what that side's looking like. I'm gonna finish up everything and then I'll show you guys what it looks like when I'm completely done. Okay guys, feeling really, really good about this haircut. I feel like it is one of my best haircuts, but there are some points that I'm like, all right, this needs to be fixed. But this is only my second time using these clippers and I'm super stoked on them. They are by far some really good clippers. Um, I'll show you guys Quick360. You'll be able to see some hiccups that I've had um, on some spots, but overall, I feel like I did a really good job. The back is always a little harder than everything else just because it's harder to see. Behind the ears can be very hard, so that's where most of the hiccups happen. But overall, I'm super stoked on how it all turned out. By the way things are looking, I'm super stoked on it. I'm keeping my sideburns because I'm actually growing this out until the end of August. So uh, we'll see how it all turns out. And after that, we'll see what I do with it. Also my mustache, my mustache hairs are like going inside of my lip. That's kind of annoying, but I'm trying to manage that. But overall, I'm really, really, really stoked on the fade. I'm gonna go ahead and pull down my hair so you guys can see what it overall looks like with the cut and my uh, starter locks which are really messy. They're more of like freeform like right now um, versus everything. But overall, I think everything looks really clean. I just really think a high top fade makes everything a whole lot better. Like even if your dreadlocks look messy, it makes a fade look a whole lot better. Like you can see this is the one I crochet hooked the other day and it is pretty messy. But if I were to freeform out of this, I'd be pretty stoked on it. Um, I do want to freeform without doing anything to my hair, which I did twisting the gel and twisting and everything like that to this hair. So I want to do it completely out of basically nothing, freeform, 100% freeform. But you guys, that is the cut. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Like I said, I'm going to start putting these on my Instagram TV. So, so this video is actually going to be on Instagram TV, which I'm super stoked on. But you guys, other than that, that is the cut. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Like I said, everything that I mentioned in this video is going to be linked down below. Other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully you guys do have an amazing day. Matter of fact, have a great day. Peace out and God bless.